Keen anglers in the southeast will soon have a new place to drop a line with construction of an artificial reef underway off the Scarborough coast. Joel Dry has more. Well, it doesn't look like much from here on the land, but just one kilometre out to sea off the northern tip of Scarborough is the brand new Turner Artificial Reef. It's been some years in the making. Local anglers and boat club members have been pushing for two decades to have this artificial reef installed and the process is underway, giving local fishermen and women another reason to drop a line. It's 20 hectares in all and it's made up of a whole group of concrete and similar structures with holes drilled through it, all designed to give fish somewhere to live and attract and boost fish stocks and give the 250,000 recreational anglers in Queensland another reason to visit the Redcliffe Peninsula. Just a great opportunity and more space for people to fish. Um, there may be some more people coming in but it's really the local people here around Redcliffe are really going to benefit from this reef. The crews will be here for just a couple of days installing these reefs and then almost as soon as they hit the bottom of the ocean, the fish will start to be attracted and then the longer that they're in place, the more that reef will develop and the better the fishing spot will become. So you increase the surface area of your reef, you increase the amount of fish that will live there. The big bonus of this reef is its proximity to land. It's just one kilometre offshore, meaning it is easily accessible to really amateur anglers with small boats. And people around here say hopefully it will go in some way to make up for the many green zones in Moreton Bay where fishing is no longer allowed. The whole project was an LNP initiative. It's cost $250,000 and hopefully the fish will soon be biting.